a few people up now and I think Gail will do the introducing. Yay! She's been working very hard. Uh, the article in the Good Times is one of the things that has started this action today. And uh, she has been asked who is the organiser and as we often say, there is no one organiser. We organise ourselves, that's what we do as a community. And I wanted to also stress that one of the things that the police don't understand, they often say, if you've got nothing, you know, you've got nothing to worry about, why do you need to fear us? This whole village at times, I feel, is under post-traumatic stress. You know, we are suffering because of intimidation and over-manhandling of the police force and the people in this village. Uncle Sess, where are you? Is Uncle Sess there? He had a story to share with us because, of course, our Aboriginal family that we share this village with uh, seem to cop it even more than uh, normal when the police are doing their run around some tactics. Where is he? Uncle Fess. He's not here? Okay, well, I'm going to call Michael up to the stand. Michael, come on. Quick few words from our Okay, so, so. It's all about this, I reckon, and to, I, I love that everyone came. Thank you very much. It's about human rights. You know, I heard people arguing this week, I don't want to smoke, I don't want to be in a smoking. doesn't matter. You don't have to smoke. It's just about the cops using the illegality of this herb to continually belt us. And, like, I've been counting the beers. I think it's to do with that, you know. We've come under some terrorist list or something. So I'd like everyone to shave this week. I don't know if no! Anyway, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to stand firm. And it, it is all about our relationship with the earth. It's really simple, I've decided now. It's money. And the best money in the world will get spent on pain relief. All the good herbs for pain relief are illegal. It's that simple. So thank God. It's on the agenda in Australia at last now. So I reckon we just work hard on politicians and the people who will really be able to tell politicians is the cops. So any cops here, and I bet there's one at least, you go back to your boss and you say, we're sick of doing this bullshit policing. We didn't join the cops. You know, we can't get access to politicians like they can. So we're sick of you, you know, they're not doing what they joined the cops for. I talked to all the cops, heaps of them are sick of it. They used to smoke cones, they used to smoke cones with us, some of them. Now they got a uniform. It's bullshit. And it's creating huge disrespect everywhere. We want to all get on with our lives in a meaningful way. So cops need to talk to the local area commander who said himself, we're going to make no difference. This raid of 80 cops in painted bloody cricket pads and fucking helmets, like serious, like we're real criminals. It's disgusting. It's frightening for children. It's stopping people coming into the village. It stops people sending their kids to the school. They are creating this totally disenfranchised community. Anyway, fuck them. We're not going to change. And if they, they wonder why we're going to the cop shop, because we want you to tell our area commander, to tell Mr Scipioni, who's the police commissioner, born again Christian, this is a herb your mate Jesus was using, wearing, eating, everywhere. It was the Crofton weed of Israel in those days. It was everywhere. So the Christians need to get their act together and use their mate Google, do a bit of research and find out the truth. Thanks heaps for Sophia for getting us together. It's more than just something that people smoke for enjoyment. It's a medicine. It's clothing. I'm wearing fully hemp clothing. It's food. It has so many good things going for it. The whole plant, nothing of it is wasted. Next up, Biko, where are you? There she is. Quick word from our good friend Biko.
The most offensive thing about this whole pointless and expensive exercise is the amount of money they're spending on police for a very small net result. And they're finding marijuana, they're not finding ice slabs, they're not finding major importers of illegal substances. They're finding a bit of pot and that's it. And they don't need to target us if they actually want to do a job about drug law enforcement. They do have laws they have to enforce. But I object to people being dragged five or six at a time by police. I object to people being locked up for hours without water or food or toilet. That is humiliation. I also object to the other things that I'm seeing in Australian society where cops in riot gear are turning up to take Indigenous children away from their parents. This sounds a bit fucking familiar. And we are not rolling back to a 1950s mentality. We don't want the race lines. We've dissolved them here in Nimbin. We respect our brothers and sisters for who they are and what they bring to the bloody table. And we are all human beings who deserve to be treated with dignity and respect regardless of what's on your, sh on your sheet or not regardless of what age you are, regardless of how you're dressed, regardless of whether you have a tattoo or a piercing, or your skin happens to be a little darker than the Anglo-European stereotype we all seem to get into, which does not represent the, the population of Australia, does not represent our demographic. And more than this, 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 this stupid business about an illegal herb. It's actually about a trend that's happening in Australia where we used to be an egalitarian society. We used to be a society where we had the right as individuals to have a dialogue about the way our society is going. And we are not terrorists. We are alternative people who respect our environment, respect our laws, are trying to learn respect for each other and are trying to find a way forward into a future where we can heal this planet. And this is what this is about. And the police, the police service needs to ask the question about when they ceased to be a service and began to be a force. Yes. Up not only our community but communities trying to protest being a private service for fucking multinational companies when their own people who pay their fucking wages are standing up and saying no and we need to ask that question and that's all I have to say.